Hi everyone. Uh, today we continue with the uh, SQL Server example. Uh, so in this lesson we have two uh, table a travel table uh, contains the traveling information uh, for company and uh, the, the traveling service. Uh, we have some few like name, price, and number of days for the the traveling or the travel. The second entity of the second table, we have uh, the uh, TBL or table category. The category table has some field like the category ID, a name, a count, or the number of travels, integer. And the relation between here is one to many, or one category has many travels. Yes. And on one category contain many travel services. Yes. And this is the relation one to many. And uh, I can do some example about uh, traveling or travel management. Uh, firstly, we create the database uh, travel management and we run by execute. Uh, after executing, it will commit to your database, and we use to sit uh, to switch to, to the database travel management by calling use use travel management. Uh, so we switch to some uh, database, and we create table name uh, TBL travels. The primary key here is the ID entity one one mean uh, that uh, this key will automatically increase one step or increment. So it will automatically plus one after a new record added to the table. So the name here is Vajar or the end Vajar. For Unicode, uh, it has a length of 200 character and not noon. The price is flawed and if you do not enter the price, it will be uh, 0.0. .0. And the number of day is integer and the constraint here is a default constraint or uh, it has a default value 1. <coughs> And the start date, it is the state to the start the travel by getting today. If it is not uh, filled, or the default, uh, default value here is uh, today, or get date function. So ID here is integer increase 1 and start from 1. Uh, so the second table here is category. Category name, uh, maybe beach, maybe family, etc. And we copy the structure of this line and uh, check for the table travel by select star from here to see all the field and to see all uh, record inside the travel table. And we copy this, we paste and uh, create table name, category, TBL, uh, TBR category or table categories. This category has uh, the uh, identity from 1 and 0 for 1 step. It is in increase 3 for 1 step. Yes. And the number of travel here, uh, we have a check constraint. So it must be uh, less than or equal to zero. Or the number of travel uh, may, may not be, cannot be negative. And we execute a, a stop procedure, the SP main stop procedure column to uh, search the describe. Uh, so detailed about the field in TBL 
category, and the number of travel here must be uh, less than or equal to zero. And we add the table to modify a table. Uh, we modify the ta this table. We add more column, so we add category ID to this table, and this will be the following key field for TBL travels. So you can execute <coughs> SP columns, and then we, we have the category ID here, yes, and all the columns in this line, column here, and all this column name, and we can increase the font size uh, for more easier to see and you can enter table uh, TBL and we add more foreign key to this so the category ID is uh, derived from TBL category and it is occur in TBL travel so it is foreign key so we must add the foreign key constraint uh, from a TBR category and the TBR travels. And the other table here, uh, TBR travels, uh, check, CK mean check number of day. And you check that the number of day must less than or equal to 1 and uh, less than or equal to 20 and bigger than or equal to 1 yes and now we want to test the data uh, we test by insert by calling an insert function by insert to TBR travel name price number of day started and the name here is travel from Vietnam to Sweden yes and you can check by assigning another table so we we, we can change the, the, the value from 12 to 59 etc or or zero so you can see the zero yes so we select that from tbr travel to check for the uh record which I have just inserted and you can count sound count star to calculate the number of record yes and uh, then he, here we get it mean uh, the current date so you can also change the price and to change a little bit for example, two, yes, and you can remove the date and assigning the current date, yes, okay. After running, we can check. Okay, so we have a two record because we have just uh, inserted, and we check by select star from table travel. So here, we can see that the started date here is today. Yes, the start date automatically at today here. If you do, uh, if you leave it blank, if you leave it blank, and then the start date is uh, today. So, anything else we can do this. So. Uh, now we can uh, select get data uh, this is a system function and yes it will return to the current date time at this time we call this function so the number of day here uh, is bigger than one, one or uh, less than or equal to 20 so we add a new and it's at for 25 yes 25 is against the constraint yes 
uh, it violates a con constraint. Okay, so the insert statement conflict with the check number update the conflict. Okay, so it is conflict. Yeah. Okay, now. And uh, you can also check uh, a, a, a transfer value, for example, um, the value for about uh, less than zero. Okay, so we have a three uh, record like here. Yes. So we can also add more name must be unique. Main must be unique, so we have not or two name uh, two two same name so it is unique so you must add the constraint uh, uc mean unique constraint name and unique name yes the same the statement is the permanent why okay because we have the duplicated key value for, for travel from vietnam to china yes so we have two uh, records with the same name. So, uh, so so the constraint cannot be uh, match. So we must delete or we update. Yes, we did delete all the record in uh, table travel, and we call under table to uh, add again the constraint. And the constraint here is okay. So we copy this, we run, we uh, run and run execute, okay, and the second execute will return a duplicate key warning or error. It is showing that uh, the, the constraint is violated, okay. So uh, similarly we copy and we execute, yes. So we can see the output uh, from here. The name uh, must not be uh, the same, so it is unique. So we insert into a table category with the uh, name. So family travel, for example, here, and we can have many category like family travel, beaches, etc. And select start from TBR category. Yes, and you can see family travel. So it is violated. You must set the unique constraint to this table. And this is quite simple by copying this. You, you can set the value like here by not knowing inside uh, this create table command yes inside the table uh, creating table command you can also set the constraint inside uh, the field yes and you can drop you can drop the table uh, Remember that uh, if your table is not important, you can delete. But in some critical case, you cannot delete the table. So let's use under table. Yes. And we drop the constraint travel category. And then you can. Uh, so here you. Do you call this function again? Yes. Okay. So you copy this. We uh you you uh, execute the okay, one row fighter. Select star from category. So we have category family travel. Yes. Okay. Run again. Uh. So if you run. Okay, copy, uh, run again, not. Yes, run again. One, fight it, run again. So we have a two family travels. We have a two, two, two same name. And you must set uh, the constraint by adding under table constraint unique 
for name. Yes, so it is so. Yeah, it's so here because the existing, uh, existing value in the database is violated. Yes, and uh, you can delete from categories where one equal to one mean delete all. Yes. Uh, and then the, you you copy it again. Uh, no, you yes, you run it again. Okay, the so duplicate k is family travel. Okay, so the constraint unique name here is okay. Uh, so you check again by select star from TBR category, and then you have number travel is zero you can insert into the tv calorie with beaches on food and drink yes for some category so the category for here is travel for beaches travel with uh, uh, family uh, members and travel with wood for food and drink etc so check again the data inside two tables and we can insert into TBR travels with a few list name, price, number of days, started, and category ID with uh, like is like here. And the category uh, is get from the TBR categories and add it to here. Uh, so the date time, the date here mean year, uh, month, and DD or dead okay so uh, we have one two three categories in sizes and you can change the category yes we can insert into the TV our uh, travel and we set a category for this uh, travel service again yes so we can change some value and we set uh, we, we get to the value of category in the uh, TPL categories and we add it to this uh, field okay set into executor and run execute again okay and duplicate value for name okay this okay because it prevent uh, user it prevent developer from uh, adding more uh, same name for for one category it is not accepted and now you can okay just into travel value yes and after running this to confirm that the value or the data is um, added to the database so we want to join or, or we want to, to see the, the data from uh, two tables. So let's join it. In the join mean uh, that uh, the, the data must occur, must not known in both, uh, in both uh, tables. So we also have left join and right join. Yes. Left join mean uh, the left from the left. Uh, table is uh, not known and the right table can be known yes and you can join and you have a field between two uh, table we have all field between two tables and uh, you, you can choose which uh, which field to display which field to show or which field to display like name and number of days price started etc and you can show specific view for two tables uh, it is here here it means uh, you join from the category to travel and you can vice uh, you can reverse by uh, joining from travel to categories yes it, it can be uh, okay if you want depending on your purpose of getting data 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 yes and you can auto buy to sort to sort 
the list to sort of result by calling order by order by category name yes uh, order by category name mean the name is sorted by uh, ascending by sort of ascending and uh, you can summarize this into a query yes by select star from here okay no uh, you cannot um, uh, you, you can set it as as a view select star from as yes okay yeah no. so here you 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 can uh, select and edit an alias an alias mean yes okay an alias mean uh, and you can group by what group by uh, for grouping by you must have count for counting numbers and uh, and, and the, the the field to display or group by width it is answer the question of uh, what to oh, oh, what to set category okay travel ID and you display category name okay category name and run again run select okay so we have beaches at uh, two uh, we have two beaches we have two food and drinks category uh, and you can add more uh, number of travels you you can add it as the number of travels the number of travel here is okay no number of travel is alias for the column and run again okay so number of travel we have two beaches and we have uh, two food and drinks categories yes you can uh sort you can arrange that here for more easier to read yes more easier to read okay so uh select okay you can run this again execute e execute this command again to ensure that it is okay so an example group by example here is that you firstly call a common select star from TBL travels yes okay so we have something like here a category and you want to calculate you want to calculate the the number of uh, the, the, the number of uh, travel for each category so we use so we use group by group by means we uh, we, we group on the same name like here we group on uh, the, the same category ID is here so in this case we have a category ID we have two travel with category ID 22 yes okay and now we want to show the detail category not the the, the category ID anymore yes so we want to here yeah, we want to join join to uh, one two 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 select um, common yes we want to join two commons yes and how to join it you, you can set you can uh, yes you, you you can save the first to uh, a view you you can define a view not a table not a table view is a uh, 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 command to run and it, it execute to the data and it is not a separate table it is not a separate table so uh, okay so we can join from so let's start from here okay so yeah. yes so we, we can have 
here that's uh, as Katrina changed a little bit yes. travels the number of travels again send run again yeah by uh, this travel by category okay so we rearrange this command again okay run and this inside yes we set this uh, command as an alias and we join to the tbr categories we resign from this to yes yes we resign from one uh, one common to one common to another common okay so we uh, select start from tbr category okay and we want to update we want to update this value from um, from from the first uh, the, the first command to the second command we want to update to to uh, gear into the the second command to second sql command and how to do this we want to update so uh, this command will be come view so we call the create view as so view here mean a uh, command and we can execute uh, the data and it is not a table not a table yes so we execute this to create a view we execute this to to create a view and we select start from view and we can see yes okay you can select start from view to see the number of travels yeah and we can update uh, tbr category and we set the number of travel in uh, tbr category to the view dot number of travels and uh, in the joys from we can update and uh, by by enjoy the tbr category to the view category and number of travels yes okay so we join to we shall join the tbr category to the view category and number of travels and we, we call the update function and we run again yes okay so the update here is displayed in here you can update the TBR categories. So what about the TBR travels? The TBR travel here. Yes, we have a number of day has been updated. And what you want, if you if you want to increase the price to ten percent, if the number of day bigger than three, you can increase price to ten percent. Yes. And you can also call the update. Um, yes, update TBR travel and you set price uh, e equal to the, the old price uh, plus ten percent, or it is one point one. Yes, it is one point one because one plus uh, zero point one plus yes, or uh, one plus. 10% okay and you check again okay so the price is increased about 10% yes so you you can also increase the price for promotion for any coupon etc using this and uh, we do similarly with how to to increase price to 15 percent if the number of day is three and okay uh, and the category ID is pages for example like here uh, so bitches mean so uh, 
which is mean 22 yes 22 mean bitches and we got we can increase the price to 15 percent if the number of days three and category is equal to bitches and this update function like update TBL travels and the set price to uh, 0, 0 0.15 plus 1 yes well, the condition is number of day uh, is 3 and a category ID is 22 okay and run runs update again and select star, star from TBR travel okay. yes so if the uh, price is negative, do not allow to update. So we do like here. We could a trigger. A trigger is a function. It is executed after update. Yes. And after update, if the price, we define a new price as a numeric, and the price after inserted the price, we check the price if. It is uh, lower than zero or negative. It raises zero, just like here. So the run back transaction means you uh, run back or or you uh, come back to the previous state. Yes, we uh, call the the function create trigger on TBL traverse. And it's a new price. The new price is a variable that uh, get from the inserted price. Yes, no, not it. It, it does not have is uh, updated, but has inserted. And the arrow here is price must be bigger or uh, bigger than or equal to zero. Yes, and you can update the price okay. if you update a price to a negative we can show you the arrow like here you execute okay price must be uh, bigger than or equal to zero or positive value okay so we practice more trigger on this by uh, after inserting to TBL travels, the task uh, started must be bigger than or equal to current date because the started for travel must be in the future, not in the past. Uh, so we so let use trigger. The grid trigger with trigger name trigger insert travel on TBL travels. Uh, the trigger is executed after insert a new driver into the table TBL travel. We declare a variable name uh, new started as dead and we select the started from the new inserted record by uh, adding inserted dot started and then we check if it is uh, less than the get date or the current date, it uh, will draw the arrow or run back. So firstly, raise arrow. Raise arrow or display uh, and this, uh, display the, the arrow message. The arrow message has to contain an I mean Unicode. The first is a uh, uh, severity, and the second is date. You can define your own number depending on your project requirement. And the run back transaction to to run back to your previous date. Okay. So drop trigger, and the second part we create trigger and run. Okay. And the test trigger and how to test trigger 
uh, we uh, we can insert a new record uh, select star and select star from TBR okay and you got you, you insert into TBR uh, table travels value yes we insert into this with the violet value also number update get it get re get re ID and the value here the value in this case uh, name for example we uh, do define my, uh, my uh, name we add a new name go to somewhere and uh, uh, the day here 2017 and just started and the category ID mean uh, we choose a, a specific category and we get the category ID to add this okay started okay 22 okay and we, we run this yes okay so the started must be after the current date is this okay and uh, we can select the data select get data to check for the current date in your system yes yes okay it is today in my system and today for doing this video okay so thank you so much for watching this uh, you can see more in this list and you can download code here in the end of the video for checking result and thank you very much for watching see you later